I pray they give me a show. Not too tired. Day is hot and the cabin is abroad. And if we meet, we should not escape abroad. But these hot days, the mad blood stir it. Come, come. Thou art as hot a jack in thy mood with any middle. And as soon moved to be moody. And as soon moody to be moved. And what to? Nay, and there were two such which have none shortly. For the one would kill the other. Thy head is as full of quarrels as an egg is full of meat. And yet thy head hath been beaten as addle as an egg from quarreling. And yet thou wilt tutor me from quarreling. By my head, here come the capital. By my heel, I care not. Follow me close, for I can put off to one of them. Good then, gentlemen, a word with one of you. And but one word with one of us? Oh, couple it with something. <laughs> Make it a word in the blood. You will find me access to that, sir. And you will give me an occasion. Could you not take some occasion without giving me? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, and thou consort me. <laughs> consort? What? Dost thou make us minstrels? <laughs> and make minstrels of us? Let's hear nothing but discords. Here's my fiddlestick. Here's to make you dance. Sounds. Consort? <laughs> Speak here in the public haunt of men. If they withdraw to some private place, girls depart. Here all eyes gaze upon us. Men's eyes were made to look, and let them gaze. I will not budge for no man's pleasure. I. Peace be with you, sir. Here comes my man. Well, behave, sir, if he wears your living. Romeo, then you have bear thee, and afford no better term than this. Thou art a villain. The reason I have to love thee, God to excuse the appetite rage to such a greeting. Villain, I am not. Therefore, farewell. I see thou knowest me not. This shall not excuse the injuries that thou hast cost me. Therefore, turn and draw. I do protest. I never injured thee, but love thee better than thou canst devise. Oh, calm, dishonorable, vile submission! Tibble, you rat catcher, will you walk? <laughs> What wouldst thou have with me? Good king of packs, nothing but one of your nine lives. Come, will you pluck your sword from its pitcher by the ears? <laughs> Make haste, let's mind you your ears, Eric the Act. I do for you. Thank you. 